G'day viewers. Well, it's the 4th of July, that grand day in the US where they celebrate the anniversary of their independence. And I would like to take this opportunity to salute some true American patriots. First up for me is Dennis Kucinich for presenting articles of impeachment for George Bush to the US Congress. Now, he may not actually get Bush impeached, it may have been completely ignored by the mainstream media there, but this was important and it is good that someone finally stood up and said, hey, you know this shit? This shit's illegal. I'd also like to throw some respect out there for Ron Paul. Now, Ron bots, calm the fuck down. You people freak me out. Honestly, I disagree with a lot of Ron Paul's policies. I probably wouldn't vote for him if I was involved in an election where I was eligible to vote for him. But the dude speaks truth to power, and that is something that's sorely lacking in this day and age. Ron Paul has made a bunch of speeches about what's going wrong and principles that have been abandoned in the US. This guy reminds you that no matter what the scumbags running the show now do, the Republican Party was founded on principle and integrity. But my personal favourite patriot this 4th of July is one Vincent Bugliosi. He's a former county prosecutor from Los Angeles. He prosecuted, among other people, Charles Manson. This guy knows bad guys and he knows the law. And he has a new book out where he argues that George W. Bush should be prosecuted for first degree murder. I'm going to provide a link for you to a transcript and video of a two hour speech he gave. And I know, short attention spans. I'm gonna give you some highlights. You may have noticed I like to get angry from time to time, but I really like to see other people get angry too. And this guy knows angry. Let me give you a few choice quotes from him. I'm gonna read these so I get them right. Here's some quotes as to why he feels Bush is criminally liable for first degree murder. He says, in my book, I present evidence that proves beyond all reasonable doubt that George Bush took this nation to war on a lie, under false pretenses, and therefore under the law is guilty of murder for the deaths of over 4,000 young American soldiers who have died so far in this war. And he takes it further in that Bush is criminally responsible for the deaths of Iraqi civilians in this conflict because, as he quotes, if a conspirator, or anyone for that matter, deliberately sets in motion a chain of events which he knows will cause, that's the key word, cause a third party innocent agent to commit an act, the defendant is criminally responsible for that act. And Bush can only wash his hands of culpability if he did not take this nation to war under false pretenses. If he did, which the evidence overwhelmingly shows he's criminally responsible for the deaths of all those American soldiers who've died fighting his war in Iraq. But he's a forgiving guy and he does offer these mitigating circumstances for Bush and his crew. Quote, and there is one thing I should probably say impartial defense of these people that goes in mitigation, arguably reduces their moral culpability. What I'm talking about is that many of these people are incredibly stupid. And they make up for their stupidity by being extremely ignorant. And when you combine stupidity with ignorance, that's a toxic combination. Now, it's hardly surprising he's come under attack from the right wing in America for putting forward these views, but he doesn't sit back and take it. He's got the same philosophy as me. He lets his attackers have it back with both barrels. This is what he says. There are no more repugnant, hypocritical, and un-American, and that's the word I want to emphasize, un-American people in our society today than the right wing. And here's a few quotes I want to include just because they're funny. Quote, And the question I have of you is, how evil, how perverse, how sick, how criminal can George Bush and his people be? Another great quote, What type of human monster is George Bush? And a slightly longer one, If I ever killed one person in my life, 
even accidentally, say a car accident, I'd never have another perfect day as long as I lived. George Bush is responsible for the horrible deaths of thousands of human beings and he is talking about having a perfect day. Bush's plans to have a perfect day right in the middle of all this death and horror in Iraq goes so far beyond acceptable human conduct that no moral telescope can discern its shape, form and nature. That's poetry! So yeah, I like to think I know a thing or two about anger, but I acknowledge a master when I see them. Vincent Bugliosi, you my friend, are a true American patriot. He even has a same life philosophy as me. I want to read one more quote before I go. He's been talking about Clinton prosecutor Ken Starr, who he calls one of the most reprehensible figures in American history. And this is what he says when he's getting a bit worked up talking about Ken Starr. I seem to be getting more angry and acerbic and caustic. And that's because I'm always in a state of rage. How can I not be? That's the question, people. If you are a patriot, how can you not be angry? Oh yeah, happy 4th of July. Let off some fireworks for me. That's another thing we're not allowed to have in Australia.